Hello everyone. In this video, let us try to solve this question. Suppose there are infinitely many squares, s1, s2, s3, and so on, sn, and so on. The sequence a n of the length of each side of these squares is defined as a n is equal to 6n minus 1 divided by 3 plus 2n. So this means a1 is the length of side of square s1, a2 is the length of side of square s2, and so on. Now, which of the following is the least upper bound for the area of the biggest square? So, we have given four options. Option A is 6, option B is 4, option C is 9, option D is 16. Now, if we observe here, the sequence AN is an increasing sequence. So, I leave it to you guys to check whether this is an increasing sequence or not. So, this will be an increasing sequence, which implies AI is greater than a j if i is greater than j right so the length of side of each square increases as n tends to infinity which implies the area also increases right now since the sequence is increasing so the length of any square is less than the limit of this sequence if x is so, if this limit n tends to infinite a n exists, then the length of side of any square, any, any square will always be less than or equal to this limit value. So, let us compute the limit value of a n. So, this will be limit n tends to infinite. 6n minus 1 by 3 plus 2n. So I can take n common from numerator and denominator. I will get two plus three by n. So n n gets cancelled. Now we are left with n, limit n tends to infinite 6 minus 1 by n divided by 2 plus 3 by n. So, if we observe as n tends to infinity, this 1 by n and this 3, 3 by n goes to 0. So, this limit value will be equal to 6 by 2 which is 3. Hence, I can conclude that the length of a side of any square is less than 3. We know that area of the square is a square where a is the length of a side. Now, let us say a k be the length of a side of biggest square. Now, I, I, as I have, as we have found out, a k will always be less than or equal to 3, which implies a k square will always be less than or equal to 9, right? This a square, a k square is nothing but the area of the biggest square. Hence, we can conclude that area of any square in these squares will be less than or equal to 9. Therefore, option C is correct. If this least word is not given in our question, so now that we have given to find the least upper bound, so the option will be C. If you haven't given this least, it is only given that which of the following is a upper bound for the area of the biggest square. Then, this question will become a multi-select question making option C and option D as correct. So, even 16 can be an upper bound. Thank you.